Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss MOSFET. Now as you know MOSFET stands for Metal Oxide Semiconductor Field Effect Transistor. So we will read it as metal on the top of oxide on the top of top of semiconductor. So the basic structure is we have semiconductor substrate P type substrate on top of the substrate we have oxide layer SiO2 and on top of oxide will have metal. So that is why the name metal oxide semiconductor and this is structure is used in design of transistor. This is basic unit used for design of MOSFET and MOSFET is one of the most important device in electronic these days. Now there are two types of MOSFET. First one is depletion type or D type. Second one is enhancement type or E type. The basic differentiating part is the channel. If there is a channel between drain and source, this upper this terminal is drain, this is source. If there is a channel between drain and source, then it is D type. And if there is no channel, channel is absent, then it is E type. Let's see the working. This is D type. D type let's understand the working by taking various cases first case I am going to take VGS VGS as a 0 volt and VDS as some positive value VGS is just 0 means they are shorted together this condition VGS is direct gate and source are directly sorted so VGS is 0 at this condition since VDS is positive so you will have positive over here because of positivity at drain electrons these electrons present in N type channel as a majority charge carriers will be attracted they will be attracted towards the drain terminal or you can say they are accelerated. When they are accelerated towards the drain, they generate current ID in opposite direction. Current flow is opposite to flow of electrons. So, we are talking about conventional current ID generated in opposite direction. If, if I summarize this in characteristic curve, VDS in volt and current ID mostly in milliampere. At 0 voltage, no electrons are accelerated, current is 0. As the voltage increases, number of electrons are accelerated and current also increases. So, your transistor behaves like this and this region you can say is a ohmic region. Which region? Ohmic region so because Ohm's law is applicable. As you increase the VDS at certain value known as VDS set, all the electrons are accelerated. So, your transistor goes into saturation. So, VGS is equal to 0 over here. So, this region is known as saturation where there is a constant current from drain to source is known as saturate. Almost constant current from drain to source is saturation region. Okay, let's discuss case 2 where we'll make VGS as negative value. 1 volt we'll apply and VDS remains at positive. This is minus VDS positive. So, if this is negative now. Gate is negative. Because of this negative, there is one electric field generated in the oxide this field is such that it repels the electron into the substrate. Please remember applying negative at gate 
generates field in oxide which repels the electrons from channel into the substrate therefore number of electrons in the channel number of electrons in the channel will decrease because of this your device current or characteristic will be like this VGS is equal to minus 1 this is VGS okay so curve, curves are sitting in downward direction okay in this case let's say case 3 will discuss VGS will take it as positive in this case and VDS is also positive both are positive so these two are discussed now I am going to apply positive to gate so this is a field now there will be a field between field in the oxide this field is such that now it will attract electrons from substrate into the channel okay so again main thing is positive voltage at gate generates field in the oxide direction of this field is such that electrons from substrates are attracted into the channel therefore number of electrons in the channel number of electrons in the channel increases therefore current will also increase let's see this this is the case VGS is positive number of electrons are increases C current increases so here just remember D type MOSFET operates in operates in enhancement mode it has nothing to do with E type MOSFET you have applied the positive gate voltage electrons has increased current has increased so it is enhancement mode with negative values of VGS where current goes on decreasing is the depletion mode and the operation of D type MOSFET is controlled by this equation Socrates equation ID is equal to IDSS 1 minus VGS by VP the whole square okay and this if you plot ID with respect to VGS you will get this transfer characteristic okay just see the points are mount here this is a pinch of voltage vp and beyond uh, this positive value of vgs will give you positive value will give you enhancement mode negative all are in depletion mode next is e type mosfet in case of e type mosfet there is no channel channel is absent everything else is same the first thing that we have to do is generate the channel or enhance the channel for that we will apply the positive voltage between gate and source when you apply the positive voltage at gate there will be a field generated in oxide layer which will attract electrons towards the surface towards this so electrons are attracted and they start forming a layer over here okay so this is how the layer channel is formed this channel you see over here is formed or enhanced because of positive voltage the minimum voltage at which channel is formed is known as threshold voltage VTN or a threshold voltage threshold voltage remember is the minimum voltage at gate gate or between gate and source that form the channel is known as threshold voltage once the channel is formed you will apply the positive voltage between drain and source and your device will function similar to d type mosfet just remember no negative vgs is allowed apply positive VGS keep on increasing you see you will get a enhancement mode this is non saturation region or or uh, what you say 
ohmic region this is saturation region in transfer characteristic you can see uh, no current is there below threshold voltage now this diagram this diagram is uh, actually how mosfets are fabricated to with various parameter 3d view 3d view now this operation of e type is controlled by this equation okay it's a kn vgs minus vt the whole square okay so this kn in this is known as conduction parameter and kn is given by mu n c ox w by 2l okay so w is this width of the channel l is the length of the channel mu n is mobility of electrons in n type semiconductor or n type channel and c ox is oxide capacitance this c ox is given as epsilon ox upon t ox okay so 